Hello, Thesb. Hello, Pyramus. Hey, I have a test on inherited and acquired traits tomorrow. And, well, I don't even know what a trait is. Anyway, can you help me out? I guess I could, if you take me to the spring dance. But I have not had my cootie shot, yet. Take it or leave it by Ramus. The dance, for help. Okay, okay, if I have to, you're not going to try and kiss me, are you? I'm not going to say, a girl likes to leave her options open. Is it a deal? Deal. So what is a trait? Well, Snoogooms, a trait is a characteristic that you have. Do we all have them? And please don't call me Snookums. That's gross. Okay, sweet cheeks. But if you're going to interrupt me, I could just go shopping instead of helping you. Okay, sorry, Thisby. I will zip up my sweet cheeks. Go on. Okay, well, you have lots of traits. You have your dark, handsome eyes, your broad, statue like shoulders, your cute nose, and your kissable lips. You forgot my crawling skin and my barfing stomach. Did I? Never mind. Go on. I thought so. Well, you have basically two types of traits. First is your inherited traits. They come from your parents. Half from your mom's DNA. And half from your dad's DNA. These are traits like your fur color, your eye color, the shape of your nose, and the size of your feet. So they are things I can not change, or things I was born with. Exactly. See you're not only cute, but a fast learner. I wonder if our kids will have your big feet. I wonder how fast they can run away. Not fast enough, my dream sickle. The other type of traits you have are you acquired traits, and they are all the traits you have learned over your life. Things like the language you speak, the food you like, your sense of humor, and even the type of clothes that you wear, which is something I will have to help you out with a bit. With a little of my guidance, you will be looking great in no time. So acquired traits are everything that I have learned. So not a lot then. Oh well. I do have another question for you that will be on the test. Seems I need to know about sexual and asexual reproduction. Dreams really do come true. What? Ah, uh, never mind. Sexual and asexual reproduction, did you say? Oh, that is an easy one. For you maybe. No, it is a pretty easy concept. If an organism uses asexual reproduction, then they only have one parent. One parent? My dad told me about the birds and the bees, and that is not how he described it. Well, these are simple organisms and they just divide into two new organisms. So the one parent becomes two new offspring. There are many ways they can do this, but the result is the same. One parent becomes two organisms that are identical in genetic material. They have the same DNA. Like Clone Wars? That's my favorite show. Well, kind of, I guess. That is just a cartoon. You know it's not real, right? Yeah, I guess so. Go on. Sexual reproduction is what we more complex animals use. Where you need two parents and half the DNA from your mom and half the DNA from your dad going to form a child that is a mix of the genetic material from their parents. I wonder what our kids will look like. I do not have a clue. Will they have your dark complexion, or my fair one, your eye spot, or my perfectly shaped ears, your strong kissable lips, or my patty ones? Excuse me for a minute, will you Thisby I have to do something? Sure Pyramus. 